Hi everybody! Thank you for joining me again as we go through and look at another one of the Chattahoochee Valley Library's online resources. Um, I'm Miss Brittany, so you may know me from the Columbus Public Library where I do story times and other children's programs. Um, and I'm also the Children's Services Coordinator for the um, Chattahoochee Valley Libraries. So today we're going to be taking a look at RB Digital, and this is a resource that has audiobooks and magazines, and it has some really cool titles for kids, so let's go ahead and get started. So today we're going to look at um, how to access children's materials on RB Digital. So again, um, as always, you're going to want to start out on the library's homepage, and you can get there by um, going to cvlga.org, or you can just Google Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and it'll bring you here. To get access to RB Digital, we'll just go ahead and go under Download It, down to Magazines, and then RB Digital is the second option. So you can go ahead and click on that. Okay, so this is going to bring you to the library's um, landing page, and which provides just a little bit of information about RB Digital, um, to the fact that it's free digital magazines, um, that you have thousands of publications, and that they're easily viewed on any internet-enabled um, device. So um, we'll go ahead and click down here where it says visit RB Digital Magazines here, and so you can go ahead and click on that. And this link brings you to RB Digital. So this is their landing page. It's um, like many of the other resources we've explored. It's going to show um, some recommended titles, titles with no holds, um, trending titles. A lot of these that are displaying right now are um, mostly adult titles, but I will show you an easy way to access um, all of the children's titles. But before we get started, I do want to point out a couple of things. Um, so you see here where it says sign in and register. So for RB Digital, you do need to have an account. Uh, so we'll go over how, how that works. Um, over here in this corner, there's one of the little menu options that's going to give you um, quick links out to say if you were looking for just magazines or you're looking for audiobooks, you want to go to your account, see what you've checked out. Um, those kinds of things are here in this menu. Um, you've also got a um, some options down here, information about RB Digital, home, a um, couple of different things to explore down here. So that, that's just a quick overview of the, the home page. So we'll go ahead and um, get into setting up your account. Okay, so if you do not have an account, the first thing you're going to do is come up here to where it says register, and you're going to go ahead and click on that. So a couple of things here, um, you do need your library card number, and you will need a working um, current email. And then once you have those things, you'll be able to input all of this other information, and you want to make sure that you um, create a username that's going to be easy for you to remember. Um, and also with the password, something that's easy to remember, but also something that's not easy for others to, to guess. Um, but you just want to make sure that you, you keep that information because that's what you'll use to um, log in. So once you fill that out, you'll do that and um, accept the, the terms of service and privacy policy. And you can click on those links and read through that um, if you'd like to get that information before agreeing to it. And then you'll do register. You'll click on register and that'll get your account set up. Now if you already have an account, you can come out and um, you'll just go immediately to sign in. And so from here, you're going to want to enter the username that you either just created or um, that you had created previously along with your um, password. And there are some options here. If you do forget your username and password um, where they can be recovered. So that, that is um, an option if, if you do forget that, that information. Um, so we'll go ahead and you can log in and then sign in. Okay, so I went ahead and I logged into my account. So you can see now up here it no longer has the sign in and register options. It, it says sign out. So that, that indicates that I'm oh. logged in. Um, I've also got over here, when you come to the menu over here, 
I am able to go into my account now. And so I can see my holds, um, my checkout history, recommended titles. There are different things that I can do in terms of setting, um, profiles. So there, there are a bunch of things to kind of play around with in here. Um, and I'll show you some of these and how they work once we've you know, checked out a couple of um, titles. So we'll get out of that. Now what I want to do is show you how to search specifically for children's materials. So in order to do that, um, one of the easiest ways is to come over here to search. If you just kind of want to do a broad search for, for all children's materials instead of a specific title. Um, and we'll start with audiobooks. So you'll click here on audiobooks and do advanced search. And you've got a number of options and different ways that you can search here. But the easiest thing is going to be to come over here to where it says audience. And when you click on that, you can select either beginning reader or children's. Um, and that's going to bring up your, your children's titles and titles for young, young kids. So we'll go ahead and do children's. Okay. And so you can see there are a number of different titles here, um, a lot of different ages. Um, so you can kind of go through and explore and see what's available. Or if you have a, a specific thing that you're looking for, you can um, search that way too. So when you um, click on a title, so let's just do this Zoo Break by Gordon Corman. It'll give you some information about that title. So it's going to give you the author, the narrator, um, if it's a series, the, the series title, the genre. Um, it's going to show you the checkout time. It'll give you a preview, um, an overview or description here, some more details about the title, um, the specific chapters and the length. For the narration so that can um, be helpful and then it also recommends other titles based on that one that you're looking at and that you're interested in and so if we go with one of um, the shorter titles like maybe froggy's best babysitter um, you can see so it has all the same information um, but under the chapters it's just a much shorter much shorter title but it also has the recommended titles here um, which is really helpful if you're looking for something that is similar to a title you just read that your child really enjoyed. Um, they offer those recommendations down there. All right, so now we're going to go back. Um, and I want to show you here that there are a couple of other options to further narrow your search. So if you come here under filter, um, you can select things like fiction versus nonfiction. Um, so we'll go ahead and click on nonfiction. So then that's only going to bring up nonfiction titles. Um, you can undo that and bring it back. Uh, so there are some other options here too. Um, and then over here under relevance, you can sort how it's um, arranged. So by author, narrator, title, date added. Um, right now it's set to relevance. So th those are just a, co a couple of other options you can play with. Um, I also wanted to come back up here to the search option and show you the, um, the option for searching for beginning reader as the audience. So that, that'll be your, your younger readers. Um, so you can go ahead and select that and it'll give you titles specifically for um, beginning readers. So you're going to see a lot of the Cynthia Ryland. Um, a lot of the popular picture books, different things like that. Um, some of the weird schools. So you can explore these as well and see what different titles are in there. And like I said, if you have um, a specific title that you're looking for, you can search for that. Um, but this gives you just an overview of, of everything that's available. So let's say you see a title that you want to check out. So we'll do Bear's Loose Tooth. So you'll come in here again, and it has all that information that we looked at before, but you'll just do check out. All right, so now that you've checked it out, and you see here the play now, you can click on that, and it'll pop up and start the, um, the audiobook. 
Okay, and so you can see here that it's popped up and it's ready to begin listening to. So you have an, un an introduction and then the actual text. So we'll go From through. a cave in the forest came a munch, munch, crunch, as Bear and his friends. So you can listen to the um, title that way. Um, so we'll go ahead and close out of that. And we'll also come back to... Um, the home page and so you can see up here where it's it's welcoming me because um, I'm still signed in and you can also see now that um, I have an item checked out bears loose tooth uh, and you can also um, start to play around with some of these other options too so now what I'd like to do is show you uh, the magazines so we can come back over here and um, go to search and magazines and again we'll um, just pick this time genre and children and so this is going to bring up all of the children's magazines so these are the titles that RV Digital has available um, so we've got highlights uh, animal tales National Geographic kids American girl um, so these are these are the titles that we have available now so what you can do is um, go ahead and just select the one that you're wanting to check out. So let's say we'll do National Geographic for Kids. And so again, it's going to give you some information, the issue date, the genre, that it's a magazine, a brief description, um, some basic details. And then it's going to give you access to back issues. So say you want to get, um, you know, an issue from a, a previous month or a previous year. Um, you can kind of flip through and see what's available. So then to check out a magazine, it's going to be the same. You'll just do check out. And I'm still logged into my account, so it's just going to automatically check that out for me. Um, if I were not logged in, it would pop up and ask me to go ahead and um, log into my account. So now it's giving me the option of, I've checked out a magazine, do I want to keep looking or do I want to um, read now? So I'll just go ahead and select read now. And so it'll bring up the magazine. And so now I can look through. And so there are a couple of options over here on this side. So you can see there's a table of contents. You can bookmark pages. You can also print. Um, so we can click on the table of content, and it's just going to give you a breakdown of what's in the magazine, if you're looking for something specific, a specific article or activity, what have you, depending on the magazine. Um, and so here you've also got the articles listed as well. So that's just an easy way to navigate through it if you're not just wanting to kind of browse through the magazine. Then you can also, over on the other side, um, there are the navigation arrows. And so then you can just flip through. Um, there is a magnifying glass here down at the bottom. So if you want to um, blow the text up because you can't, you're having difficulties reading it, you can also just click on the screen and hold and drag to kind of move around um, the magazine pages. But this is how you would navigate it. Um, and so you can also, with this, with text mode, um, choose to see an article in, in text mode. So then it's easier to read that way. So you're not kind of um, doing like what I was doing where I was pulling the page around the screen. But it'll be easy to read, straightforward like this. Um, you can do PDF view. So there are a lot of options over here um, with different ways that you can interact with the magazine to make it easier to read through. Uh, and look through so you can just kind of explore all the different options that you have here. Um, so you can see up at the top I can go back I can keep this um, tab open to keep the magazine open and I can go back to RB Digital if I do want to browse some more um, and kind of look around at some other options. I can also go back to home now and it's going to update my checked out titles so now I've got a magazine and a book, and so I can just come in here if I want to log out and log in later. 
Um, so that that's a very brief overview of RB Digital and the different things that um, it offers. So I hope that kind of helps you uh, figure out how to better search it and find those mat children's materials um, so that you can easily use them and um, give your kids some more fun things to do at home. All right. Well, thank you guys, and I hope to see you again next week. We are springing into summer learning at the Chattahoochee Valley Libraries, and the program you just attended is one of the ways you can earn completions. Just go to cvlga.org and look for Spring into Summer Learning. You can register yourself and your family online, and then start reading and attending our online events. That's all you have to do. We're giving away weekly gift certificates, and every completion you make enters you into a grand prize drawing for tablets, games, gifts, and more. Remember, you have to register to win. CVLGA.org, and we'll see you online again real soon.